the UPS program has helped me um, in more they, in more ways than than one. They provided me with a lot of support and um, they guided me to the right resources that that were um, appropriate for me. They took the time to to hear me out and listen to what I was going through to be able to help me and guide me into the right direction. The EOPS program has uh, provided me with uh, books. Um, they have a, a great book loan program. They provided me with priority registration, which not every other student gets, which is a big, a big deal because um, sometimes when you try to get into classes without priority registration, you can't even get into the classes. So um, that's very, uh, that's a, a really good thing that they provide. They, they provide us, our students and myself, with individual counseling, um, which is really helpful as well because. Um, I mean, when you start school, you don't really know what classes to take. You don't really, you don't know where, what, what you need for your major. So the counselors, you know, guide you in the right direction as far as what you want to do, where you want to go. Um, they also have the care program, which I am also a part of, um, which is for single parents on uh, cash assistance and food stamps. Um, and um, that program helps me with, I mean, other services like um, guiding me in the right direction if I need child care or um, dealing with the my worker that handles my cash aid and my food stamps and all that um, so that I don't have to you know go out of my way to go to see my worker to turn in my paperwork it's just like a whole paperwork thing that they help me with it which is very helpful and scholarships that you know are provided there for for those students that are in EOPS and the care program my major is criminal justice and um, I want to, my ultimate goal is to uh, be a probation officer for at-risk teens. Um, growing up, I never really had any positive influences, any uh, positive role models. Um, my, mo my mother was mentally ill and my father abandoned me and um, when I, I became pregnant at 16, so I, um, I really had a tough uh, time during my teen years. So. Um, and I became involved in crime and all that stuff. So um, I want to be able to provide like a really positive influence and teach young teens that are, you know, stirred up with hatred or, or any like mixed emotions that they might develop because of the way that they grew up. So I want to be able to help them and guide them and teach them that there's, you know, a pos there is a way out of, you know, that, that lifestyle and, and that I made it so they can do it, you know? So that's, well, um, first of all, I think that um, if you might, you're gonna have doubt, you're gonna have, you're gonna be scared um, to start school. Um, and if you are, um, I think that the best way to, you know, um, be successful in your life is to go to school because, um, Life without knowledge is, is like de death in disguise. So if, um, if you wanna g get somewhere and s you don't know where to ask or you don't know who to talk to, I think the best thing to do is to ask more than one person. Cause one person is gonna tell you something, but you can get better information asking mo more than one person. So if you're not getting somewhere with one person, go ask another person and go ask another person. Be consistent and don't ever stop. Tell people what you're going through. Tell them, look, I need help. I want to get here, but I can't do it all by myself. Can you help me? Do you know who can help me? You know, where, um, just ask, be resourceful <laughs> and um, don't give up. I mean, it's going to be hard. Nobody said it was going to be easy or else everybody else would be doing it. But I mean, you will find people that will help you. You just need to find them because they're not going to come to you. The thing that I like the most uh, about the EOPS office is that they're, I think they're like family. 